coming up next on The Jeff Crilly Show. Everything you thought you knew about wine is completely wrong. We'll explain next. We'll be talking to a winologist just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, I enjoy a good glass of wine, but I don't think I enjoy it the way I would if I was, say, born and raised in Italy, because it's an entire mind-body uh, experience in Italy. They make it uh, almost a symphony of flavors and experience, and going out to eat in Italy is much different than going out to eat in the in the, uh, the States. To talk about that today, uh, Aldo Bove, did I yes, say that right? Exactly, okay. exactly. <laughs> he is the founder and winemaker at Above Wines. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Very cool. Well, I want you to tell us the mission and ministry of what you're out to do. Well, uh, about a year ago, uh, we started, me and my partner, a company called Above Wines. Our objective was to basically make people interest arise into what wine really should be, at least from an Italian viewpoint. You know, Italy is a very famous country, especially for the food and wine and the traditions. And that's what wine really represents. It represents a mixture of tradition, experience, and feelings, emotions. So we decided to create a company that would bring this uh, culture, almost like an ambassadors of uh, the Italian culture here in uh, Dallas and in the entire state of Texas. And when you, and in a minute, you'll hear him describe the wines. When you describe a wine, it, re it just really brings the wine to life. It's not just good tasting wine. You tell a story around the wine. Why is it important that Americans start to enjoy wine the way Italians do? Well, you know, Italy has 20 regions. It's a small country, but we have more than 700 different grapes. Now, 700 different grapes is definitely a lot of wine to try. If you just think that with a red grape, you could possibly make a white wine, counting the sparkling, counting a blend. There's a lot of wines to try. Now, within these 20 regions, there are a lot of different traditions. and Every small area in Italy has their own unique grape. I'm sure that for the uh, guests that have been to Italy, have tried the house wines in any restaurants and they've always been very great, but probably made with grapes that you never heard of. So what we wanted to do with Above Wines was basically bring in this feeling of not being afraid of trying the other 699 grapes that you have not tried from Italy because they're all very good. They're just not very well known. And so as uh, Above Wines, we decided to be ambassador, the voice for all these regions and these traditions that people are happy to try when they are in Italy, but they are scared to enjoy when they are here in the United States. Yes. And uh, you vet all these wineries and you go there and you sample them yourself. Yeah. When, when I can go back home, yes. Otherwise, we have direct connection with the winemakers. I personally have a degree in uh, wine science and winery management from the University of Naples in Italy. So we have direct uh, availability to, to see what are the actual scientific spreadsheet of each of the grapes, the winemaking, the wine itself. So we can see, does it have too many sulfites? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it actually made properly? Was the, 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 the harvest, a, pro a good harvest? Was, were the grapes very healthy? All these data that most importers, you know, they don't really look for because again, our objective is bringing the true Italian culture of wine, which is something made from families, touched by hundreds of years of experience and knowledge, which you cannot gain just you know, one day waking up and opening a winery. It's very different. Absolutely. We're going to pull up their website. And as we scroll down their website, I want you to look at just, it's a, it's a classy company. It's a company that really pays attention to detail. And you're on a mission, aren't you? I mean, this is not just a way to make a living. This, yeah. is, this is what you this were put on the service. planet. This is a service that we're doing to, to my country, personally, basically. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And I 
could listen to him all day. I think I should just get him the dictionary and just have <laughs> just him start, read start reading the dictionary. <laughs> yeah. you have a, and now you're also something of a showman, if, yeah. if I can say that, because he does all these wonderful um, YouTube videos. Uh, before we show this clip, you recently held a, uh, an uh, event. Uh, yes, it was called the Above Wines Expo. So following on uh, what we're trying to do with Above Wines, I wanted to expand this experience, not only to Italy, but there are many countries in the world that have been wine making countries for hundreds of years. And their wines represent just the same culture that in Italy that, you know, wine usually does. So why not including these countries like Spain, like uh, Southern uh, America, Argentina, like uh, uh, Portugal, you know, like France, and some wineries in California too, now they're starting to understand that the culture in wine is the biggest part. So we started this event called the Above Wines Expo, where we invite different uh, uh, wine, wines and wineries and the people that are actually from the country where the wine is from, because that's the only way that you can actually establish a connection with the tradition if you actually have a person from the country talking about the wine and its traditions. And it was a wildly successful event. Let's go ahead and roll this clip. Above Wines Expo was a great experience for us. We wanted to build a community of people that really cared about the wine, cared about the hands that have made this wine, the tradition, the territory, and everything that is behind each of the little small sips that you're gonna get out of this glass. The experience at the Expo was something really nice. We saw a lot of people networking, talking with our wine expert, trying some new wines, and the whole objective that we had was to open up your vision, your mind, to the availability and possibilities that the wine world has to offer. Wine has always the same objective, which is bringing people together, creating experiences, Maybe because I'm Italian, but every time I'm sitting and drinking a wine, I always have music in my head. I always create a movie in my head and I feel like I'm in one of the beautiful Italian squares. That's what we wanted to create at the Above Wines Expo. We wanted people to actually experience and feel that while drinking a wine, you were being touched on all the five senses. Our guests enjoyed all the wines find the food and the opportunity to actually talk with the expert and learn more about the different areas where the wines are from and where the actual experts were from. That's what Above Wines is and that's what we created with the, the Expo. We'll continue doing this because the wine community has to grow. We want to change the mentality that wine is supposed to be just a high-hand drink. That's not true. Wine is for everyone and it's a way for everyone to connect better within each other and with the territory where the wine is from. Salute. Wow, it, 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 it just looked like everybody was having such a good Everyone time. Everyone was having fun, yes. I love the expo because it, it brings out the feeling of being in an Italian square, you know, and at the beginning everyone is shy, but then throughout the, the yes. experience you drink some wine and everyone is friends. So it's just like in Italy. Yes, yeah. and, and I have manners, and so I, th I thought to myself, it would just be rude to, <laughs> to not enjoy some wine. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right? You're right, right, you're right. Okay. So, you're right. So why don't you take us through this? What are we, what okay. are we enjoying So today? let's start with the white. Okay. Okay. What do you, what kind of wine do you usually drink, Chef? Uh, I will usually do uh, like a Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, for example, yeah. Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Sauvignon Blanc originally is a grape from France. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like to describe Sauvignon Blanc like a very tropical fruit smell wine, a little higher acidity, so something very refreshing. What do we have here? This one is a wine from Calabria. Okay. It's called Ciro, which is an area in the southern part of Italy, in the Calabria region. And they make very good wine. It's okay. a very dry region, okay, surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea. And what you have on the smell, it's very similar smell to a Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. So let's give it a smell, let's see. Okay, you got a little like tropical fruit, yes. white flowers, that's what you get, but and it's a grape that is not Sauvignon. And when you're swishing it around, are you opening up the wine? No, in this uh -huh. case, when you swish, you're basically expanding the surface okay. where the wine touches, so more smell can come out of the glass. Oh, got it, okay. Okay, so you have a better smell, a better portfolio on the yes. nose. Okay, and the grape name is Greco Bianco, which is probably a grape that you never heard of, one of those 700 grapes that you're gonna taste wow. it. You're gonna be like, it's pretty good because it's a grape that I would suggest for people that like Sauvignon Blanc, for example. Yes. Okay, we, uh, before we cheers, uh, what's a great Italian cheers? 
there's one very classic which would be salute and then we look in our eyes and okay. we just say salute 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 okay Mm. It's delicious. And it's nice. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Okay. So that's what we try to do with above wines. And I Open up your your great portfolio. And I re I love the storytelling because you you do kind of trans people mm -hmm. transport people back to, that has to, to be Italy. Always, there has to be always a story behind the wine because yes. especially for Italians, every small grape has a very long traditional story, and there's thousands of hands beside behind each of the wines yes. and thousands of years. Yes. Okay. So tell us about the red. Okay, the red instead, it's from a region that is a little more famous. We are in North Italy. Okay, what kind of red do you usually drink? Hmm. Um, let me think now, like a Cabernet? Cabernet Sauvignon, okay. So Cabernet Sauvignon, again, it's another French-based mm -hmm. grape. Yep. Okay, now it's grown everywhere in the world. But here we have something called Valpolicella Ripasso. It's a very typical wine from the north part of Italy. Veneto is the region. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you heard of Venezia, Venice, the city, yes. right? It's yes. the region where Venice is. So we, here we have a grape made from a blend of three grapes, very not known. They're called Corvina, Rondinella, and Molinara. Yes. Have you ever heard of them? No. No. So again, it's 700 grapes. Let's go to the smell. Okay. Mm. Huh? Yeah. This one has a little like more uh, jammy. Yes. Okay, you have a little tobacco in the finish. And what, like, what would this pair with if we were having a meal right this now? This wine would be very, very good with steaks. I know that Texas is big on steaks and meat. Sure. This would yeah. be very good. If you have caramelized onion, that would mm -hmm. be very good pairing this wine in particular. Love well, it. Let's go and Love taste it. it. Okay. Salute. Salute. <laughs> Mm. So smooth, you see, Man. not dry, just enough dryness to make you want more, make right. you more. So uh, Aldo and I are going to end this show so we can do some more intensive research. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, let's, let's end with a, uh, a reason people need to visit your website and a reason why people might need to uh, check you out rather than going with the same mm -hmm. wines that they've always gone with. True. So if you visit our uh, one of the two websites, Above Wines or Grappolo Wine Shop, which is our actual store, you can have our wines shipped anywhere in Texas. And the objective is uh, to give you as much information in a very light and easy, understandable way and to make you try wines that are not only healthier or higher quality because I say so, but we can actually send you the scientific research on each of the wines to testify that the wines that we bring in not only are better for you, but they actually help bring out what the tradition of Italy and the values of Italy are. So wow. if you want to be a little more Italian, check us out. Oh, this is amazing. Well, thank you so much for bringing your grazie, knowledge grazie, and Jeff. your wisdom and your passion for, for this project uh, to our viewers. We're going to end with the website, which is AboveWines.com. Aldo, thanks again. Grazie mille, Jeff. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.